<coughs> Sorry about that. Yep, still got my same fucking off that I promised a couple of weeks away. What do you wish of me? If you must. I was not born such. Tis a skill of Flemeth's, taught over many years in the wilds. The chastened have tales of we witches, saying that we assume the forms of creatures to watch them from hiding. When a child is alone and separate from his tribe, that is when we strike, dragging the young boy kicking and screaming to our lair to be devoured. A most amusing legend. Changing her form, certainly. Devouring lost children, I cannot say. She has not done it in my experience, though in truth my lifespan is but a fraction of her own. Why do you ask? Is there something specific you wish to know? Oh? then I have no doubt your people do much to keep their talents well hidden from humans. I wonder if I was to ask one of your keepers of the origin of their magics if there would be any relation to what I was taught. I may even ask my mother about it someday, though I doubt she would tell the truth of it even so, such is her way. The form of an animal is different from my own. One may study the creature, learn to move as it does, think as it does. In time, this allows one to become as it is. I gain nothing by studying another human. I already am the same as they are. I learn nothing. So the answer is no, my human form is the only one I possess. Indeed. Have you an opinion on my abilities then? Am I an unnatural abomination to be put to the torch? Oh, you're simply full of surprises, little man, aren't you? But enough of such talk, let us proceed lest the dust gather on us. Yes.
gets it like Callan had. <coughs> All right. Yes. Yes. I get full. Mm -hmm. Say what you must. Have coin, stranger? With Orzammar closed off, old Tegrin can get you a discount. <laughs> Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. There's two things I'm here for travel or trade. Understand? Coin, stranger? With Orzammar closed off, old Tegrin can give you a discount. Fine weapon and arms, dwarven made. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. This is going to just be wild. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Yes. 
I am impressed. My thanks. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Yes. Speak then. Perhaps if humans sought wisdom beyond the walls of chantries, they might find it now and then. Kunari do not worship. I know that it cannot be found unless sought. There is little point in pursuing this. We should move on. As you wish. I must say that traveling with you has opened my eyes to how wrong some are about the Dalish. You are not at all savage, and I've not seen you snatch away women and children without provocation. were more open to interacting with yours, we could do away with such misperceptions. I hear many city folk talk about how wonderful it must be to live simpler lives, close to the earth. They could learn from the Dalish. How marvelous that must be. I have met very few elves. And those that I have met were pledged to the service of Orlesian nobles. Elven servants are well compensated for their services. Some of them live richer lives than humans. A well-trained elven servant is highly valued in Orle. They are nimble and dexterous, and many people find them pleasing to look at. No, I did not mean it that way. Oh, my words were clumsily chosen. I did not mean to offend. I... Ugh, I am sorry. Of course. I am sorry if I implied otherwise. Thank you. You have given me a lot to think about. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, Indeed. Do you see the tower? The view from the top must be spectacular. Yes? Oh? What was this about? Oh, I see. Tauren must have sent you. I refuse to answer to a pawn of Tauren. Come, men! To arms! Alright, <laughs> 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 
I've never seen one of you knife ears dressed like the King of Ferelden before. You made good for yourself, eh? I'm the ferryman. Leastwise, I used oh. to be. Poor old Kester. You, Out you? of a job. Uh... Gregor just came down and said, Don't you worry, Kester. We got it all under control, we do. Didn't say nothing else. And then he puts Carol in charge of my boat. Lissy. Named for my grandmum she was. He's Knight Commander of the Templars up in the tower. Good man. I told you, they didn't tell me nothing. And if I know they're mages, I'm better off keeping out of their business. If I had to guess, I'd guess it had to do with magic. But the tower's always got something to do with magic. You go on ahead, then. They were nice talking to you. Yes. As you wish. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land, who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Good day. All over. For now. Good day, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? Of course. What would you like?
You! You're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. No one gets to the tower. No one. The tower is off limits to all. No. I have one job and one job only. And by the Maker's shiny gold cutlery, I will do it. No, leave now. Oh, hello. It's you again. Come to chat a little, have you? No entrance to the tower. We've been through this before. Pay attention. Oh, really? You think Gregor would be upset with me for not letting you in? Wait, actually, he would. Good point. He's the big guy around here. I bet he could deal with one Grey Warden. Alleged Grey Warden. Well, you want that I should take you there now? Come along, I suppose. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Now we wait and pray. Who are you? I explicitly told Carol not to bring anyone across the lake. We're dealing with a very delicate situation. You must leave for your own safety. I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. This is why we cut the tongues from mages in Parvolan. I will admit to agreeing with your companion. Maker ah. knows the Kunari would not have gotten themselves into this position. We don't know. We saw only demons, hunting Templars and mages alike. I realized we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. If any are still alive, the Maker himself has shielded them. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find... nothing. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. My wound! They burn! It's unbearable! I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. I certainly hope so. 
Are you here to trade then? Why are you here? What do you mean? Women are priests, or merchants, or artisans, or farmers. None of those have any place fighting. I have no idea how to answer this. It is not done. There is no more to it. I have finished. You mean your people have no female mages or warriors? Of course not. Why would our women wish to be men? What are you talking about? They don't wish to be men. They shouldn't. That can only lead to frustration. Stan! No, never mind. Let's drop this. You. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. Thanks. I am a mage of the Circle. More importantly, why are you here? The Templars would not let just anyone by. And you were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Uldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the Circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the Circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle.
Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. If you are ready, let us go end this. Yes. Indeed. Actually, check it. Com complete. It cannot be. Here we are. <laughs> I'm somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? Be on your guard. And here we go. Beginning. I missed. You ever got the. Oh, and I already see a bunch of red marks. Oh, cool. And so I shall. Yeah. <laughs> Something I can help with? Unless you're a pile of books, no.
on the damn thing. Second passage of the deep spirit personification. Exercise 2.
Of course. All these statues. Your mages have an unhealthy fascination for women with bowls. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I am called Owain, and I manage the Circle's magical stockroom. I was trying to tidy up, but there was little I could do. The stockroom is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. Oh, Wayne, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. He is one of the Tranquil. The Tranquil do not have emotions. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. Nial the mage. He came here with several others and took the litany of Adralo. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Nial was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. We should find Nial. The Litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. Unexpected. Thank you. What are we doing? We're making sure no one disrupts Aldrin's plan. I thought that was quite clear. But he's not old, man. 
We all to get along, no? I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't me. mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. We thought someone always has to take the first step. Force a change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. The Maker will surely turn his eyes on you, for your mercy. Now, thanks. Hell's <laughs> cash. I have done it. The unnatural are always so...
Hello? I'm nobody. I'm harmless. Please, leave me alone. But the demons... If you're sure, it's safe. I could take a peek outside. Yes. I have a crick in my back and my bum's gone numb. Oh, holy maker, look at this. Those demons didn't know what hit them, did they? Godwin, mage of the Circle of Ferelden, at your service. Demons everywhere, blocking my exit. I decided that the best thing to do in that situation was to hide and be very, very quiet. I just really want to be somewhere safe. I think I might stay here for now. Maybe go back into my closet for a little while. Thank you again for saving me. May we meet again in happier, less life-threatening times.
the lighter. Of course. Now we go into battle. Before I get to dinner, um, after I get um, the elves and stuff. Everyone's gone. Everyone's or dead. dead. I fear the worst. I, I have done it. all this. Now this should be amusing. Performed as I expected. And so I shall. Gone or dead. I have 
Done it. You're the worst. Delighted. The unnatural are always so obvious, as you desire. And so I shall. I would watch out where I you, and so I shall. Uh, they're all so eager to die, aren't they? And so I shall.
I have finished. This cannot continue. We have to stop it. All, All over now.
Resting. Poor lad. He was so very, very weary. You want to join us, don't you? Wouldn't you like to just lay down and forget about all this? Leave it all behind. We must stand and fight. I'll not listen to your lies, demon. It would be nice if you'd actually stay back here when we're getting no attacked. power over me. Resist! You must resist! Else we are all lost! Why do you fight? You deserve more. You deserve a rest. The world will go on without you. There you are. I'm not disturbing you, am I? Dead? Me? <laughs> I have been close many times, but I never quite made it all the way. I just wanted to make sure you were happy here in Weissopt. These grand halls were built by the first Grey Wardens. Isn't it breathtaking? Everything is as it should be. We have eradicated the Darkspawn, and the world is at peace. It was a triumph for all of us, bringing down the Archdemon and setting the underground lairs ablaze. The Grey Wardens shall be keepers of history. We shall tell tales and sing songs of a more tumultuous time, that others may rejoice in knowing that that time is past. The Duncan you know was a man forged in the fires of war. I am different now, at peace. I have learned to be tranquil. Foolish child. I have given you so much and you cast it back in my face. Can you not be content with the peace I offer? It seems only war and death will satisfy you. So be it. Have your war and your dark spawn. May they be your doom. Couldn't we all just get along? No? Father! Alright. Shame about the face! Here we go! And so I shall. As you desire.
Who are you? Where did you come from? Are you a demon? No. I see that you're not. You're like me. Congratulations on getting out of that trap. The demon traps everything that comes here in a dream it thinks they can't or, or won't try to leave. I thought I'd escape too, but I've been wandering these empty grey spaces for a lifetime. Yes, I am. My name is Njal. I was trying to save the circle when I encountered the sloth demon. I expect our experiences were similar. Owain helped me greatly. I suppose I'll never be able to repay him. Litany was our weapon against the Blood Mage's domination. But it's too late. Everyone's dead. This place drains you of everything. Hope, feeling, life. No, there is no way out of here. You think there might be, but you'd be wrong. You see that pedestal there? I've studied the runes on it. Runes that signify different islands of the Sloth Demon's domain. The Sloth Demon itself is on the center island, but you can't get there. The five islands around the center somehow form a protective ward. I thought I was getting somewhere when I figured that out, and I went to each island in turn only to have my hopes dashed. There's always an obstacle. You'll see the path but be unable to get to it, and it taunts you and drives you mad. I... I don't know. There are many dreamers. You might find a way to reach them through the islands, if you're lucky. Don't mind me, then. And so I shall. Thank you, but too late for me. Kill Yavina, the demoness that rules here. She protects her master, Sloth. There's a door, a door only demons can see. The key must be in another realm. Take my power. Save any others trapped in nightmares. Kill the demons that guard Sloth. Make my...
I should have a trophy! Yeah. Now this should be amazing! I can barely stand! This is terrible! Delighted. So I shall. I know I saw the tiny holes. Were you small enough to get through? You're so much braver than I am. I was so sure it was impossible to get anywhere. Do you think you could learn other shapes? Maybe they could help you get to places you couldn't otherwise.
four animals. Why do they attack? Of course. Sir! Ragos's power. Use it and burn him. Burn them all. He guards sloth. He bars the way. You must destroy the door. Other dreamers. Other powers. Only way.
Yeah, there it is. All the noise is off. This is my second setup. This is why I hate this area. This is exactly why I hate this whole thing. I hate the... Oh, I hate having to jump all over the blasted place. Trying to find everyone. I hate... The light as you desire. Of course.
such All right. BS. So I fell. is <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Ha <laughs> ha, they're all so eager to die, aren't they? Ha <laughs> ha, here we go! Oh. <laughs> I have yet to see! for this dream to come to an end. I give you my strength. It will be of little use against the demon that rules here, but perhaps it will help in other realms. Find a way to kill all the demon lords to open the way to sloth. Free us all from this nightmare!
terrible. What did you do? I felt something. Like the Earth was shifting. Except it probably wasn't the Earth. You did. You managed to get to it. I... I didn't think it was possible. Killing that demon must have opened something. Perhaps... Perhaps the pieces are falling into place now. Not much. I know that it stops blood mages from taking over your mind. I don't even know who or what a Drala is. You're better off asking someone more knowledgeable. I don't want it to end like this. Do you feel it? It's getting so cold. Maker, forgive me. I failed them all. 
they died and I did not stop it. What about all this? How can you say that when you are faced with this? Death. Can you not see it? It's all around us. Why was I spared, if not to help them? What use is my life, now that I have failed in the task that was given me? Leave me to my grief. I shall bury their bones, scatter their ashes to the four winds, and mourn their passing till I too am dead. Your blatant disregard for the souls of the dead strikes me as being utterly inappropriate. You do not know me. You have no right to make such judgments. I do not know what this will accomplish, but I will do this if it will satisfy you. It is difficult to focus it feels as though something is stopping me from concentrating. I've never had so much trouble. Perhaps some time away from this place will help me think clearly. Don't leave us, Wynn. We don't want to be alone. Holy Maker, stay away, foul creature! Stay, Wynne. Sleep soundly in the comforting embrace of the Earth. Do not fight it. You belong here with us. No, 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 not yet. My task is not yet done. It is not time yet. Come. Come away to your rest. We are attacked. You must <laughs> As you desire. Good work. Is it over? Thank the Maker for you. Wait, what's happening? Where are you going?
have fallen, I see. I'm sensing more dark spawn. Them. But not all. Their leaders are behind the unbreakable door. I give you my wisdom. It will let you see. And now I wake. Well, not really. Probably dead.
we go to combat! If it is a battle you want, I can give that to you. <laughs> All right. back. That's not surprising. There's no way out. Every time you take a step, you think, maybe this step will take me home. But you'd be wrong. Ah, ha! 
Shanaydan. Who are you talking to? Don't bother this den. Isn't it your turn to cook? Cook what? There's no food in this miserable, frozen country. Pashera, we have a guest. Make room at the fire. They are Beresad, of course. My brothers. Who is that little thing you are speaking to? Has it seen Darkspawn? Don't interrupt this den, Karashak. We've been days in this place. There's no sign of any threat. The Arishak's report was wrong. Can we not go home? No. <sighs> I know. Why? Let the blight come. There is nothing left to fight for. No, they don't. But I am no longer of the Beresad. I am no one. For once you are right, Warden. I owe them a victory. You can't abandon your post. Stand aside. I would hate to see you all die again. No, we won't let you leave us again. Delighted. Delighted. Ah! Ah, there you go! Uh, all right. Uh, uh. And yet this gives me no peace. 
I wish to leave this place. No, more trickery. What is happening? Blessed art thou who exist in the sight of the Maker. Blessed art thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed... what? Who are you? I beg you, do not disturb the girl's meditations. Revere Mother, I do not know this person. I'm sorry, but I... I don't know what you're talking about. Please do not vex her. She needs quiet and solitude to calm her mind and heal her heart. Isn't real? I don't understand. There's something familiar about you, and I find myself <sighs> trusting you, as odd as that may sound. This is your home, your refuge. Do you truly wish to leave the comfort of this place behind? Stay and know peace. There is no need. I carry the peace of the Chantry in my heart. You are going nowhere, girl. I will not permit it. No, she is ours, now and forever. Blessed art thou who exist oh, in the sight God. of the Maker. Blessed are thou who seeks his forgiveness. Blessed... what? Who are you? I beg you, do not disturb... Revere Mother? I do not... I'm sorry, but I... Please do not vex her. She needs... Why are you saying these things about the revered Mother? There's something familiar about you. This is your... There is no... You are going nowhere, girl. I will not permit it. No. Of course. Shame about the face! Holy Mayha! She... she was a... feels heavy. Like I've just woken up from a terrible nightmare. I believe we had some task to accomplish. Let us be on our way. Wait. What's happening to me? to keep us apart. You led us from each other because you fear us, don't you? I am here, and it is time to finish this. 
I have had enough of cages. You will not hold us, demon. We found each other in this place, and you cannot stand against us. If you go back quietly, I'll do better this time. I'll make you much happier. I made you happy and safe. I gave you peace. I did my best for you, and you say you want to leave. Can't you think about someone other than yourself? I am hurt. So very, very hurt. You wish to battle me? So be it. You will learn to bow to your betters, mortal. That's on the yourself to free us both when you return uh, take the litany of Adrala from my body it will protect you from the worst of the blood magic I cannot go with you I have been here far too long for you it will have been an afternoon's nap your body won't have wasted away in the real world while your spirit lays in the hands of a demon. Every minute I was here, the sloth demon was feeding off of me, using my life to fuel the nightmares of this realm. There is so little of me left. I was never meant to save the circle or survive its troubles. I am dying. 
It is as simple as that. It is time for us both to be on our way. Remember the litany of Adrala. The circle is all that matters now. Thank you, and goodbye, friend. Thank Christ that's over. That was probably my quickest trip through that goddamn awful place. Oh, he's dead. Everything is just as you wanted, my knight. Our love and our family is more than you hoped for. Do you hear something, love? It is nothing, my darling. Just the door. I will get it. The children have finished supper. Tuck them into bed while I see who it is. Don't be long. The children will want to kiss you goodnight. I will be but a moment, my pet. You are intruding upon a loving, intimate moment, and I dislike disruptions. Happiness is bewitching. There is a certain power in all things mortals delight in. I have given him what he always wanted. Where is the harm in that? What was that? Help! There are bandits at the door. They're going to murder the children. They will not get past me. Uh-huh. Well, let's just deal with these ones and move on. <laughs> As you desire. <laughs>
no. dear of you. Thank you so much. Alright. Oh, marvelous. All the noise is off. As you decide. Be. Sadly not. It cannot be. She doesn't it's gonna be that bad and I'll be back tomorrow night for a change and not wait up for another episode. So we'll um finish up here and then we'll I don't know where we'll go. Maybe we'll go see the elves, maybe we'll go see the door. 
suburbs. <sighs> anyway, hope you enjoyed the show. This is Casentino. Good night, everyone. <laughs>